So earlier when we classified statistics, we classified that into descriptive and inferential statistics and we said that we are going to focus on descriptive statistics only and in descriptive statistics we talked about two areas one was the measurement of central tendency and the second area was measurement of dispersion we have already talked about measurement of central tendency in that we have talked about mean median and mode now coming to the measurement of dispersion or the variation the first question would be why do we need this measurement once we know the average of something that should be good enough for that let's take an example that you appear for an interview and you have been offered a job with a salary of one hundred thousand dollars a year now you challenge that that why you are offering me one hundred thousand dollars now hr tells you that that's the average salary which everyone gets in your level of experience will you be satisfied probably the next thing which should come to your mind is what is the variation here you can have one hundred thousand dollars as an average where most of the people have let's say a salary of ninety nine thousand and one zero one thousand dollars so everyone has ninety nine to one zero one and you have been given one hundred thousand dollars okay that's fair that, then that's not a problem but then there could be another scenario where you have too much of variation too much of variation means some of people in that grade might have a salary of let's say eighty thousand some might have a salary of two hundred thousand dollars so eighty thousand two hundred thousand dollars and you have been placed in hundred thousand dollars this still might be the average but then this is not something in the middle of that range so you need to understand the range whatever data you are collecting you still need to understand the broad spectrum dispersion or the variation in that whether that's the case of a manufacturing making taking a measurement of that whether that's the measurement of how much time your call center each call takes whatever measurement you are taking as six sigma yellow belt you need to understand the measurement of dispersion of that as well so when you talk about measurement of dispersion or measurement of variation there are three commonly used measurements one is the range which is quite simple we will talk about that and second is standard deviation and third is the variance let's start with the simple one which is the range on the next video